This is Unwind Your Mind Back to God. Written by David Hofmeister and read by Tarana Singh. Today we continue laying the foundation with Book 1. This is Chapter 5, Section 17. Destiny, Choice, Channeling, and I Need Do Nothing. Hi, David. In A Course in Miracles, Jesus at one point addresses a concept that he calls the script is written, where he says that there is nothing that can be done to speed up our atonement. He says that it is written that at a certain time we will simply awaken regardless of what we think, do, or do not do. Can this be so? I kind of get the impression that we could decide this instant on the atonement and it would happen. But maybe it was written that I should decide this instant? If nothing we think, say, or do makes any difference one way or the other, it seems like a waste of time and money to continue with this spiritual quest. Can we hear your take on this? I am kind of confused about a perception I am having and hope you can shed some light on it. There are several people that say they channel Jesus. I have never heard you can contradict the Course, but these other fellows do seem to contradict it. In my latest discovery, one has written that there is absolutely nothing that can be done to assist in our awakening. He says that it is predetermined exactly when it will happen. The Course, on the other hand, tells us in several places that we are saving time through its help. Now I realize that these guys and the Course and everything are an illusion. But I thought the Holy Spirit used illusion to assist us in our quest. Now either these guys are wrong or the course is wrong, because they contradict. My question is, is it possible that ego could be trying to undermine my faith in the teaching of the Holy Spirit by presenting me with conflicting teaching that is reportedly all coming from the same place? Am I being deliberately misled Or have I simply misunderstood something? If there is nothing that can be done at all to hasten our awakening, what is the spiritual search all about? What is the course for? Beloved one, Ah, you have come upon the deepest teaching on being awake. You are the one now and nothing of linear time that seems to be thought, said, done or imagined has anything to do with our eternal oneness. This teaching is the experience to which the Course points. This is the holy instant. There is truly nothing to be done to prepare for it. Simply desire it wholly and it is experienced instantly. Remember, Christ has called this a journey without distance to a goal that has never changed. Remember the instruction in the I need do nothing section. 
you are prepared. Now you need but to remember you need do nothing. It would be far more profitable now merely to concentrate on this than to consider what you should do. Text chapter 18, section 7 There are passages in the text, the workbook, and the manual for teachers that point directly to the holy instant. For the mind that is willing. In the timeless moment, the holy instant, there are no contradictions. Cause and effect are together, and thus there is no gap between them. What does this mean? It means that there is no past which causes a future for only a bright, clear, shining moment remains in memory. It means everything exists simultaneously this very moment and that nothing can be pulled apart from the whole. The phrase, the script is written, has a predetermined ring to it and a sense of destiny. Yes, this world was over long ago. Yes, what is past has gone. Yes, Christ is real and ever present. And yes, now is the only time to be awake. Heaven seems to be a decision for the mind which believes in opposites. Yet, Atonement is accurately described as an acceptance of what is now. You cannot prepare for it without placing it in the future. That is why surrender is necessary. Surrender the thought that anything of this world can be figured out. Forgiven? Yes. Figured out? No. The concept of channeling was but a tool of time. Channeling is therefore past. As with all concepts of linear time, channeling was dualistic, with source and scribe seeming to be apart. Yet the oneness of the moment has no parts. Christ, as an effect of God, is one with God forever. The oneness that is God and Christ in God is everything. Heaven is abstract light and extends as eternal creation. To the extent that any transitory concept seemed to point beyond all concepts to the real, the concept seemed to be temporarily helpful. Yet it must be understood that the holy instant is now, the point at which all concepts are laid by. Now is the time of the great awakening. For the willing mind, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom is recognized in the divine silence. The experience is beyond words. Love is a state of mind which knows no other. Very literally, the self is Christ, is one. You need do nothing to be as you already are. What you have is who you are. God gives everything in creation and everything is you. Nothing can be added to our perfection in God. The grace of God is the gift of creation. I am, cannot, need not, will not be earned or achieved. 
I am simply is. I am is before time was, and this is why you need do nothing to be as you already are. Such is the simple truth. Love and blessings as the one Christ forever in the mind of God. You are the one. And as you recognize the one, you recognize the all of God.